Mindset, a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Hey, welcome back to Morning Mindset. I'm your host, Paul Markle. That's right. I'm still your host. And this is still Morning Mindset. And you've been tuning in for however long now. Uh, hopefully, you have uh, been tuning in and paying attention for a while. Now, if you have not been tuning in and paying attention, we are doing the Morning Mindset book study. And we have been for a couple of weeks now, for a few weeks now. As a matter of fact, we're almost to the end so if by chance, if per chance, this is the first time you've ever listened, congratulations, uh, welcome, and feel free to go back, and that is the beauty of on-demand podcast listening, is you can go back and listen to as many as you want. Although we are on, according to my show notes, this is number 169, and depending on the podcast app that you use, you may only be able to go back 50. So if that's the case, I'm sorry. Uh, but you may be able to go to, I'm pretty sure if you go to morningmindsetpodcast.com, you can go to the archives and listen. Does that work for you guys? All right. Motivation, finding it and keeping it. Motivation, the, the word motivation is thrown around quite a lot, quite often, quite a bit. Uh, it has become a pop culture buzzword in whether it's the gym or the fitness center or the spin class or whatever, or at uh, seminars, at business seminars. You know, they, you pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars to go to business seminars and you sit and you listen to the person up front talk about motivation. But what really is it? What is motivation? And, you know, what does it mean for us? How do we find it and how do we keep it? Now, motivation is a. If you Google searched it, or if you went to Webster's Dictionary, uh, it's kind of a broad term, and a lot of things can motivate us, can lead us, can inspire us to act. Uh, starvation, you know, if if you don't have food and you're hungry, then you are going to be highly motivated to go out and find food. If you are unemployed. And you risk losing your car and your job and your house, and, or you already lost your job, uh, your house and all that stuff. You are highly motivated to go find another job to seek employment. Now, those are basic needs. But what about other things such as creativity or personal fitness or personal wellness or learning? For instance, uh, you – decided you wanted to learn how to play the piano. You thought that would be a good idea. And then you found out that you weren't very good at it and that you're going to have to take lessons and you're going to have to practice. And you're going to have to practice often if you wanted to get good. Well, what is the motivation for you to keep going, to actually put in the work? Now, perhaps you had a grandmother or a grandfather that played the piano and they did it a very, very well, and you wish that you could play like they did. That could be personal motivation for you. Maybe it is that you want to perform in front of others. Maybe you want to perform in front of just one person. That could be your motivation. You want to play a song for someone that you love on the piano, and you want to do it well. So that's your motivation. There's lots of different types of motivation. There are motivators, coaches, and drill instructors, and people of that nature, bosses and supervisors. They're there to motivate you. Sometimes the motivation uh, is a negative form of motivation, such as if you don't get this job done, if you don't get your job done, then we're going to have to lay you off and let you go. And so you have motivation to get it done. Uh, but when it comes to personal motivation, motivation that comes from deep inside of you, 
how do you make yourself do what it is that needs to be done and to do it all the time? Because let's face it, we don't always feel motivated. There are often times that we feel very non-motivated. For instance, it's the weekend and it's rainy and it's cloudy and you've been hanging out in your bathrobe all day. And you told yourself, you know, on your schedule, on the calendar, you know, maybe you still have a paper calendar hanging in your kitchen or your office, and you wrote the word gym on that day, on Saturday. But you've been basically being lazy all day, and you don't feel like doing anything. And you say to yourself, well, it's not that big of a deal. I can just skip today. And I'm not going to die if I skip today. It's no big deal, Right. What gets you to get out of your robe, to get dressed, and to go and do what you had planned on doing days before or weeks before? How do you get motivated? Well, one of the ways is by developing this thing called personal discipline. (gasps) Oh, but discipline is a bad word, Paul. In in our, our current culture, discipline is a bad word. Discipline is negative. No, discipline isn't negative. Sometimes you need – and how do we discipline ourselves? Well, we go back to developing positive habits. Often we find ourselves in a position where we don't want to be motivated. I do. I find myself in this position. I don't feel like my – you know, you're like, oh, you need to be motivated. Hey, hey, cheerleaders on the side. No, I don't want to. But you do it anyway. What motivates you? Personal discipline motivates you. If you have set goals for yourself, the goals that you have set may motivate you. They may inspire you. You might think, well, I have coaches, I have mentors, I have people that I look up to and respect. And I know that if they were here right now, that they would be doing it or they would tell me to get off of my butt and go do it. Often we have motivation in the form of supportive peer groups. There are other people that are in the same boat as us. They're in the same position as us. And they help to motivate us to do what we need to do. Of course, that can be a double-edged sword too. A lot of people say, well, I'm going to start going to the gym because I have a gym buddy. Me and my buddy or my, my group, you know, you know, we have a group of people, four of us, and we're all going to do it. And the problem is, though, when one or two or, or you know, your gym buddy decides that they don't want to do it, then it's really easy for you to say, oh, I'm not going to do it either. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there. Motivation. Motivation isn't really mystical. It's not really magical. It's not something that you buy in a book Uh, You can't buy a book or you can't buy an app on your phone. You can't program your computer to motivate you. You have to develop it. It's one of the things that we did when I was uh, in the Marine Corps during basic training. There all the time, you know, we're running and we're we're pushing up and we're doing physical exercises and marching and so forth. And we're, we're chanting about motivation and so on and so forth. What we're really doing was we're actually developing strong bodies, strong minds, and personal discipline. And we also had people that we didn't want to let down. When you're in the Marine Corps, you don't want you are a member of a team and you don't want to let down your team. You have those who are overseeing you whether they're, you know, you get out of basic training eventually and you don't have a drill instructor anymore, but you have officers and non-commissioned officers and people that are in charge of you. And hopefully most of those people are mentors to you and you don't want to let them down either. So motivation is actually a large combination of things. I wish I could I could condense it down to a, an easy to swallow pill, but that's not the way it is. It's not an easy to swallow pill. It's a combination of many things. And it builds up over time. And what you'll find is even though you're going to have those days – Everybody has them. You're going to have those days where you're just not motivated at all and you don't care. And that's all right. 
But how do we get away away from that? How do we get beyond it? How do we get ourselves into the gym or to sit down and do the work that needs to be done or whatever it happens to be? You start small through developing good habits, positive habits, personal discipline, seeking out those mentors, people that will motivate you and inspire you. Read stories, read like Dead Tree, of those who have come before you who were in similar situations. There were many times when I was in the Marine Corps, when I was in the infantry, and it was miserable. I was deployed overseas, and it was miserable, and it sucked, and I didn't want to do it. But I remembered those who had been in almost an identical position to where I was, and that they got through it, and that they did it. And I thought to myself, you know, if they could do it, they could get through it. I'm not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to uh, give up. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to motivate myself. There's lots of ways that you can find motivation and then you can keep it. And uh, I go into obviously much greater detail in the Morning Mindset book. But if you have the book, you already know that. And if you don't have the book, go ahead and get it and you can read all about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is it for today. I'm your host, Paul Markle. Talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.